This video will do a couple of things. The most conspicuous thing we'll do is draw our squares for the rest of the series after what's in our placemark. Before I do that though I'm going to create a folder to put all of these things in. and I've actually already created a folder for some of this stuff for the tutorials um, and to do that I'm just going to add a folder but I've highlighted and I just pointed to the screen to see that I, I've highlighted Powers of 10 tutorial and I'm going to put my folder inside that for the Windermere Powers of 10 and that um, is an important thing to do because it helps you keep track of stuff um, sometimes when you create new things it uh, um, puts them in places where you don't know where they are. And now I'm going to drag these things that I did in the last video up and put them inside my folder. Windermere Powers of 10. And it will open um, websites as uh, linked from our various Google Earth files. Um, so I'll close those as they pop up. Now I'm going to zoom in on our central point on the playground. Um, you can see our, the other range rings zip on by. And I'm going to turn off that waypoint because I've already got the playground link there with its boxes within boxes within boxes in it. And the biggest one we drew, as you might recall, is 10 meters on a side. And um, each one of those pictures has two boxes in it. Um, so I'm going to zoom in to that 10 meters on a side box. And uh, <coughs> when we get down to this level, it's not real focused, but that's all right. Um, and we're going to draw a square of our own here, a second square at 10 meters. And to do that, we go to the polygon tool. And we're going to label it 10 meters by 10 meters. And we'll add some text in here in a little bit. Um, and now I've got to move this out of the way, but I've got to keep it open or I won't be able to draw. And now you can see my cursor has turned into these crosshairs. And I'm going to think about where the corners of a square that just exactly holds this circle would be and click around it like that. That's pretty good. Not quite perfect. I can drag it. And I just clicked once in each corner. If you click and drag, you'll end up drawing many more points than the four I've done. I'm going to pull this back up and fiddle around with my style. Um, I don't want it filled and outlined. I just want it outlined. But I want a heavier line than that. I like something like three uh, or maybe more. 5, uh, 5 is 2, not 50. Um, 5 I think is nice, and you can pick whatever color you want. I like something bright like that maybe, or like that. Um, and I click OK for the color, and I click OK here, and I've got my 10 meter by 10 meter box. Uh, it ended up in the same folder as those guys, and that's all right. And I zoom out to 50 meters by double clicking on that. 50 meter radius, which will be the 100 meter box. And I do the exact same thing. Click here, give it the appropriate title, 100 meter by 100 meter. And move it out of the way, but don't close it. And now I click where my corners are. And it uses the same style of the last thing I drew, so I don't have to change that around. I just drag it to get it so that it looks like it's nicely inscribing that square, or circle, I mean. And oops. Just undo when something like that happens, or delete, rather. And get your cursor lined up again. Pull it back up. And go OK. And you do that until the edge of the earth. In this next box, we will switch to um, kilometers for labels. <clears throat> so this is one kilometer by one kilometer, which of course is 1,000 meters by 1,000 meters. And we're going to do the exact same thing, and we'll just keep on doing that until we get out to um, 